Greetings from the 2017 Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Standing here on the back of one of the boats that's making its uh, North American premiere debut, the uh, Azimut S7. So I'm going to give you a couple stats real quick. We're going to run through before, uh, before the crowds come and take us away. Unique about this boat, swim platform opens up, becomes a beach patio. But what is ultra nice is you get not only a tender, but you can put a personal watercraft. So a two toy garage, very unique for this. 17 and a half foot beam, 90,000 pound boat, 65 feet long. And uh, let's go up in the cabin and we'll see, uh, we'll see what we're dealing with. So you'll notice right away, this boat, an initiative that Azimut's taken on is to start with new models, aligning a designer, a very prominent, significant designer from Italy, Francesco Guida, who's well, well known through Europe, furniture and design. And you'll see the touches that are unique to this boat only. So you start out with a, the texture and the fabric, very soft, very durable, but it's also got some interest to it. When you look at that, it is, uh, that is pure quality. And you're gonna start seeing carbon fiber injected all through this boat, both from an architectural feature, you'll see it here in the top of this counter, you'll see it in the structure over here, all of this is carbon fiber, so it, it's a showpiece. This is, a, this is museum type stuff. But what's really nice about it is the carbon fiber, even though it's more expensive, is ultra light. So you get incredible strength without the weight. And what you'll see is the whole bottom will continue to be fiberglass composite, and then when you start getting to the superstructure, you're gonna see carbon fiber. What does that do? Quite honestly, keeps the weight down low where you want it, takes the weight from the top where you don't want it, and the boat has more stability, sits nice in the water. See boats that are top heavy, it's because they have a lot of weight up top. Carbon fiber keeps it away, and I think it gives it an unbelievable look. When you start looking at carbon fiber features, it's second to none. So again, it's, uh, it's not just a cockpit table, but it's carbon fiber inlay beautiful white paint around it, ties in phenomenally with the gray tweed, and, uh, and off we go. Now, polished stainless, we'll go up on this sport bridge later on, but you start looking at some of the features here. Let's see if I can get this open, the little refrigerator here, but when it's done, blends in, it's a piece of art. Same thing with the grill. Grill underneath there. So we'll, The trend that you're gonna see, especially when you get prominent designers that they, quite honestly, they're no compromise. They're gonna, they're gonna give us furniture to sit on, but they're gonna give us something that's aesthetically pleasing. So the balance of the light and the dark as you go from the cockpit, it's a nice level cockpit. As you walk through, you'll go level from the, uh, from the outside cockpit into the salon, incredible. And again, that's the uh, Francesco Guida. Nice surface there. Very traditional to Azimut. There's all your dishes, dedicated storage. Beautiful, Azimut on the back. That is, uh, that's beautiful. You'll notice the whitewash gray floor has got a little hint of uh, gray to it, which ties in perfectly with the gray oak. And then again, carbon fiber, little architectural features like that, just gives it interest. Electric helm seats, they look like Recaro seats. You get in there and it's, uh, it's gonna hold you in there when you're running hard. Azimut's proprietary two flat screens, almost like a glass panel dash. Their proprietary system, boat monitoring system, we won't go into depth on it, but it's just nice to see. You can curl all your air conditioners from here for the whole cabin. A couple shots through there. Digital switching also. Very, very nice. Knowing the design process that a boat goes through, if you look at this area, it's maybe six feet wide and three feet deep. I happen to know because I, I talked to them as they went through it. You get a grill, you get refrigeration, you have refrigeration here and stairs without wasting a square inch. This area is so compact and I could tell you, a lot of attention to detail went into making sure that you can get everything you want, no compromise, and still get everything that we need. 
So we're going to head on up. You look at all that polished stainless. It is absolutely gorgeous. So the mast for your uh, domes, you get your DSS and your electronics, all your receivers sit under there. But again, all carbon fiber, ultra high strength, aesthetically very, very pleasing. I mean, that is what you would see in a, in a Ferrari and no weight. So you think about something that's heavy duty up here, it would have a tendency to make the boat a little less stable. That's all lightweight as you can get. And again, up here, the same thing. You got the gray tweed, dual helm chairs, this boat is triple, not one, not two, but three, 1,050 horsepower Volvo IPS. Glass panel up here controls everything that it does from below also. Again, the digital switching, everything's here at the touch of a command. And with a sport bridge, it's like a bonus, little bonus bridge. You can pull that door, slide it off. You don't even need to come up here. Bimini top retracts if you want to get a little bit of sun up here carbon fiber elements, you'll see it all throughout the boat. All right, we'll head back down the stairs, spend a little more time in the galley actually. So you've got Mule induction, induction cooktop. You've got a vent here so that if you're cooking something that uh, gives off a little aroma, you'll get it out. The Yuli coffee maker, Mule stove, refrigeration over here, plenty of refrigeration, top and bottom. And quite honestly, even the latches are, uh, are different than anything you're going to see in any other boat. Nice, modern, open, airy. You see all the way to the transom of the boat. Get a side shot of this, uh, the architectural feature of the helm. It's not just a helm. See a lot of boats, the helm's an afterthought where you just put all your information. Here you've got something that's architecturally pleasing. It's got color contrast and gives you a great feel. Same thing as you walk down these stairs, right? This is a, uh, it's radius for a reason. It all ties in together with the same thought of the architecture. Beautiful handrails, sculpted carpet, lit steps. Come into the master. This is a game changer. So the thought behind it is very high-end hotels all around the world don't have a separate head where you go in and close the door, but every boat has a separate head you go in, takes up space, bulkheads eat up space, makes you feel like it's a little bit tight. So this is not only a radius TV wall, which is beautiful that they could radius because you now have the new curved TVs, but it also acts as a little bit of a partition between the head, so you have privacy for the things that you're gonna do, cosmetic, toiletries, brush your teeth, but it still leaves you with a sense of openness so that the cabin even feels bigger. And then for the things that require more privacy, there is a head door and you come on in here. So in high, big shower, a little bit of interest on the wall with the pattern, ventilation in here, rain shower, handheld wand, nice big, but yet there's, there's interest throughout. Same thing with the head, it's plenty of storage, wide open. If you look at some of the light fixtures, that's with the premium lighting package. You just don't see that every day in a boat. Beautiful, they all tie together. Nice light there. Linens are phenomenal. Little areas that, uh, that are nice. You've got a charger by the bed for your phone. And then there's a little trough right here where you can put your watch, put your phone, put your rings. Little guardrail so that if you're out running for the day 
or if you're rocking at night, it'll all stay fit. Plenty of storage, I guess, huh? Look at all that. Self-closing doors. Same thing there. Massive amount of storage. Besides that door. It's gonna be hard to get on film, but if you look at the quality of the finish, no edge band whatsoever. High gloss, solid wood. Incredible. Now we're forward in the VIP, and what I'll tell you about a VIP in most boats, boats go to a point, call it the bow. The more pointy, the less room you have in the master or the VIP. So this boat kind of comes to a more squared bow, which gives you a more, you can push the headboard back further and you could start getting almost a, what they call a full beam VIP. And I tell you one thing that I love about all this, and it's, it's easy to miss, but you get the two different woods, right? So you get the, the light gray back here, you get the dark ebony up here, high gloss, matte finish, and then they offset them. So you get all that, all of that architectural interest, and there you have a headboard. Easy to just put a piece of wood up there, a piece of leather and call it a day. But when somebody's looking at a boat of this caliber, that's the type of stuff that really looks, uh, that really stands out. Big, beautiful hanging lockers. This is a great touch. They do not come with a boat, but they're carbon fiber hangers. They're about $250 a piece. Maybe we can make them come with a boat. But it ties in with all the carbon fiber that you, uh, that you have throughout. Sound bar, TV mounted on the wall. Another thing of interest, if you look at the door when the door is closed, you'll see the accent lighting that goes around it. Coming back, you have port and starboard staterooms. You got an over under bunk on the, uh, this is the starboard side. And you have two twins, which could be a queen on the port side. And then you have the appropriate storage underneath. So back up here in the galley, getting ready to sign off. I absolutely just scratched the surface of showing you the depth and the details of this boat. Come spend a little bit of time in it. You could, you could spend an hour, look at the same thing twice. You'll see different, but yet very intentional. Nothing, nothing's done by accident on this boat. Everything has a purpose, everything's intentional. It's done to make it either more aesthetically pleasing or more functional. It's one of the more refined boats that I've ever had the pleasure of going through. If you need any more information on it, come see us at marinemax.com. Reach out to me, chuck.cashman at marinemax.com. I'll get you in the right hands. So uh, with that, I'll say thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If, uh, if this boat is in your future, I'm a little jealous. Enjoy.